So my message is, people shouldn't give up on their dreams just because they think they're a little bit too old or with the longer lifespans we have now, there is actually time to do what you really want, whether it's starting a business or having a family or traveling around the world, starting up a charity or social enterprise. You'd be surprised how many people started great things, you know, much later in life. Um, artists, Paul Gauguin, Rousseau, Francis Bacon, all very interesting stories. Piet Mondrian, Hans Hoffmann, Jackson Pollock, Roy Lichtenstein, Vasily Kandinsky, Grandma Moses. Yeah, I read, well, hundreds of books really in order to write the books behind me, which are like a summary of all the great books in personal development. And I read one after the other, one after the other, all about how to be as successful as possible in as short a time as possible. Think of actors like William Holden, um, Harrison Ford, Samuel L. Jackson. But actually, what I've discovered in so many of the examples in the book is that what someone has done for the first half of their life is actually just the platform setting them up for something greater. So that's the way we have to change our thinking to see things. So that whatever you've done for the last 20, 30, even 40 years, is just warming you up for your real life purpose. So that's why I say never too late to be great. You know, that there is time, there is more time than you actually think. Look at the facts of longevity and look at the facts around actual achievement timeframes.